another nice day today. Sun's out on lockdown, typical. The raspberries are looking pretty happy. Compost heaps, very healthy. There's been millions of worms. They're all gone now. There's a little, oh, it's gone. So some of our plants enjoying the sun already. These are garlics, we've dug them up. We've got varieties of tomatoes, can't remember the name, sorry. Carrots have gone in here today in an experiment. We've got yellow courgettes and green courgettes. And also, really random. So someone moved out and left a bit of junk and I did some digging and found these cool drawers. There's stingers on the floor, so I've got flip-flops, not a good mix. And we're gonna make a herb garden. So once all the mold's been scraped off, we're gonna have different herbs in here, which we're potting up. Little bench. Oh, and we found this weight randomly as well. Full day. As I was saying about herbs, we're actually planting them today. So I'll show you what we have. Sweet, sweet basil. <laughs> this is compost from the garden, as we showed you the hole. And we're also going to be planting some carrots and a different way to experiment to see what works better. We'll get some baby carrots. So as I said, we're going to be doing the planting of all the herbs. The mint and the rosemary need to be planted on top of damp soil and not um, topped with anything else, but the other herbs get planted about half an inch down and then covered as normal. We're going to hyperlapse this so it's not boring. So we've actually got this trough thing here that had tomatoes in last year that grew crazy crazy. I don't know if you can see this cool little woodlouse friend. Oh, terrible, terrible focus, sorry. So, and we've got quite a lot of carrot seeds left. So we're thinking quantity and another random test to see how they grow and what they grow better in. And we, we're potentially going to put some in the ground, but we may as well just put them in here. So let's just scatter. And unfortunately, because it's so bloody big, we used up all of the pre-sorted compost so now I'm gonna have to dig this up but it's really fertile because all of the vegetables and leftover fruit gets chucked here stuff from the garden etc etc so we're just gonna sieve out all the stones now and the compost. <laughs> so it's really nice and loose and then yeah just keep repeating this for about 100 years <laughs> Uh, 
happy. So we like repurposing things, hence the weird watering can. We just need to cover up the seeds, obviously, with about a half an inch. And obviously when you water it, the soil level drops as well. 